What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a brand new video. Today we are doing the potential Chelsea team for next season where I'll do rating predictions and some of the transfers they've been linked with and have a look at what the team could potentially look like for the new season in FIFA 17. So without further ado, I do have the starting 11 here and what I think their ratings will be. Now, worth noting that Mahrez hasn't actually signed or Mustafi but they have been heavily linked with these two players I've also got a subs bench too which we'll get to but let's have a look at the starting 11 as a whole and last season for Chelsea was a very disappointing one it was supposed to be the season where they were to defend their Barclays Premier League title that they won the season prior to that but unfortunately due to falling out with uh, boss Jose Mourinho many of the players just didn't perform well and it allowed Leicester City uh, amongst um, all the clubs in the Premier League Leicester City here of course to take the Barclays Premier League title Chelsea finished in uh, around about the ninth place I do believe very disappointing for them um, but under new manager Antonio Conte we're definitely thinking they could have a really good season so we've got Courtois and Net kept them at 86 rated they're linked with Mustafa but at Braden to 83 rated player what an acquisition he would be to the club apparently Chelsea are the front runners for the Valencia centre back I've downgraded Ivanovic purely because I just wasn't impressed with him last season and I really think Chelsea can get better and I think they really need to uh, get a new right back in the team Arguably, they could put Barber in at left back and move Aspilicueta to right back, who I've kept the 82 rated, one of the best left backs in the world, Aspilicueta. I really am impressed watching him. Gary Cahill, I've kept the same. Um, again, he's a very solid uh, centre back. Can't really see much changing for him going forward. I've downgraded Cesc Fabregas. He had a very disappointing season. Didn't really perform as well as many were um, obviously expecting him to perform for Chelsea. Kante joined the club. He's been upgraded to an 82 rated centre midfielder. Could easily be more. He definitely is probably the new Claude Makélélé. Um, I've given him some really good stats. You know, 83 defending, 79 physical, 79 pass, and 82 pace. He really is such a good centre midfielder. Oscar Phil's in the centre attack and midfield role. Again, left him at the same at 84 rated. Didn't really have the best of seasons, but I think he's done enough to probably keep that rating. Hazard has dropped down to an 88 rated and could drop down even more if uh, EA decides to be a bit more harsh. But I think because he is a, a candidate for to be the, the cover star again for um, the new series. Um, I think he will stay around about 88 rated. Costa has been dropped down. He could potentially be leaving the club also. So, um, Chelsea fans, what do you think about that? Do you think Diego Costa will leave to go back to Atletico or do you think he will stay? And Riyad Mahrez, a player that I have been linked with here, who's um, obviously rumours who have rejected a approach from Leicester City to stay at the club, um, obviously sign a new deal. So, we could be seeing Riyad Mahrez be joining uh, Chelsea of, among all clubs. Uh, the two Leicester City players joining here, two probably the most pivotal players along with Jamie Vardy. Could be joining the club. So, I'll go in depth for the players we've got here. We've got the starting 11 here. Thibaut Courtois, we've, we know much about him. Vanovic again also. Just to give you a little look at their stats to get onto the substitutes better this year. Uh, Cahill again, kept the same. As for the Equator, as we linked moved to Barcelona, but I think that deal has gone dead now due to Lucas Digne joining them. Um, Gulo Kante, probably one of the signs of the season for about £32 million. That is a really good signing for Chelsea. Um, Leicester have to be absolutely kicking themselves losing a player of that quality. Uh, Fran uh, Frances Fabregas, um, Riyad Mahrez again, another great player like I've mentioned before. Uh, Eden Hazard, what options they will have on the wing for next season? It'll be absolutely unreal. Oscar and obviously Costa. Let's look at the uh, substitutes. So the first player we've got here is Azmir Begovic. Uh, downgrading by one, just didn't really get much first team games last season. When he did fill in though, he did actually look decent. I think it might be a little bit unfair to downgrade him, but again, um, there's, there's a lot of um, different cases for Azmir Begovic, to be fair. Next player we've got is Baba. I've upgraded him to 79 rate because when he did play last season, I think he actually did perform quite well. Um, he needs to work on his game a little bit defensive-wise and positioning-wise. But other than that, um, they've got themselves a really good left-back for the future. And if they would move Azpil to the right and play Baba at left-back, I think Chelsea fans would be happy with that. Next player we've got is captain John Terry. He ha he is staying at the club. I've downgraded him by one, but he is staying at the club. There was rumours that he would be leaving the club maybe for um, you know the MLS, maybe next year or this year. Conte has uh, brushed that aside, says that John Terry has a major part to play as a player at the club, and he will be staying. So that's very good news for Chelsea fans. Kurt Zuma obviously did spend most of the season out injured, but when he was playing for Chelsea, was absolutely unreal. Don't see why they probably wouldn't want to get Mustafi. I would play Kurt Zuma over Mustafi because Kurt Zuma is still very young and he has tons and tons of potential. Um, 81 rated, he could easily probably be maybe an 83 winter January upgrade. Um, maybe for if, if, if he gets a lot of games for the season because he really is unreal. Next player we've got is Digi Um Don't know if he has a future at Chelsea. Probably doesn't. 
Um, but again, he's a very good centre back. Went on loan, I believe, to have heard of Bremen Hatch. Yeah, was quite decent for them in the Bundesliga. Maybe that's something for Antonio Conte to think about in um, getting defenders into the club. Next player we've got is John Ove McKelv. Upgraded him by 2 to 79 rated CDM. And when he did perform for. Um, Gus Hiddink's Chelsea side last season. He really was a very good player for him. Really held the team together. Was great defensively. And I'll give him 88 physicality because he really does seem like a beast on the ball. Broke up play beautifully. And John Owen McKell is definitely an important asset to that Chelsea side. Next player we've got is Pedro. Upgrading by 1 to 84 rated. Again, he performed very well when Eden Hazard was not really hitting the ground running. He come on. He done the jobs. Um, was obviously a, a bit of a weird transfer for Chelsea at the end of uh, the transfer window last season. But... Again, he's arrived, he's done really well, and it'll be interesting to see how what role Pedro will play under new manager Antonio Conte. Next player we've got is Willian, who recently has signed a new five-year deal at the club. Easy could be in that starting eleven. Uh, move Oscar out, you could have Hazard, Willian, and Mares all obviously um, along that three behind the striker. Hazard could play in the centre, Willian out on the left, Mares out on the right. That looks like a very deadly attack. The possibilities are endless. Upgrading to 84 was by far probably one of Chelsea's best players last year. Maybe even it deserves to be upgraded by even more. Next player we've got is uh, Juan Cuadrado. Spent last season on loan at Juventus. Not sure what the future holds for the Colombian here at Chelsea. Um, Conte obviously is a big fan of the Italian league. Um, obviously watched it closely due to most of the uh, national players being there. Obviously he was the coach of the national side before joining Chelsea. Must have watched Quadrado. Uh, be interesting to see if he does actually have plans for the Colombian or will he cash in on him. Next player we've got is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Upgrading him by um, quite a bit actually to 74 rated. Um, again he is a very decent player and if he gets the chance under Conte I think he will perform very well. He might go out on loan. No one knows what the future does hold for Ruben Loftus-Cheek but again He's a very, definitely a very interesting player to see what happens. Definitely the future of English football if he keeps um, living up to his hype. And um, definitely intri intrigued to see what happens with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Next player we've got is Loic Remy. Again, don't know what the future holds for this player. Um, hasn't really featured much for Chelsea. Um, he couldn't seek a move away to maybe a mid-table Barclays Premier League club. Only time will tell. But I've downgraded him for, for, for now. Down by 1 to 80 rated, 89 pace, 73 dribbling, 78 shooting, 71 physical. Makes him still a very decent striker, but he just has to be playing first team football. Surely he really is a good striker, and I feel like he's um, maybe stalled his career a little bit at Chelsea. Um, probably should have moved to a team that would probably would have used him a bit more. Even Arsenal probably would have used Lloyd Remy more than Chelsea have for the time being. And the last player we do have is their brand new sign. It is Michi Batshuayi. Upgraded him by 2 to 81 rated. Was a really good player in League 1 last year. Great young talent that can definitely rise through the ranks and look like a quality, quality player. Um, Belgium are absolutely spoiled for striker choices and Michi Batshuayi is definitely um, under that category um, as um, potential world beaters. So here is the Chelsea team. Here's the bench. Guys, do you agree with it? I haven't put Nemanja Matic in because... He has been rumoured to be leaving for Juventus and I think that could potentially happen with N'Golo Kante joining the club. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think will happen. Are these right ratings correct? Are they not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like that video guys if you want to see more um, potential club um, squad builders. Um, I do really enjoy doing these and I enjoy your feedback too. So make sure to hit that subscribe button too. Trying to hit 2,500 subs. And as always I'll catch you guys all in the next one. And peace.